He's George Clooney. His charisma is off the charts. He's been labeled one of the sexiest men alive. He's even been Batman. This is why Superman works alone. But you have to admit, he isn't one of those buff, clean cut young guys that women usually oogle at. I mean, he's in his late 50s, he has gray hair and wrinkles all over, and he doesn't really have the body of Apollo. Yet he sweeps women off their feet. How does he do it? My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and this is How to Flirt with Girls Like George Clooney. I'm Matt. He has mastered the art of seduction. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing, we know what works. George Clooney has many traits that a woman is looking for in a classy man. He's both a badass and a gentleman, and that drives women crazy. Looking at it from a deeper perspective, it's not just his fame that landed him in the hearts of millions of women across the world. Rather, it's what he does. The walk, the talk, and the mindset of a successful, classy man. So let me explain some of his attractive traits. And number three is my favorite, because you can use it to turn a girl on in a matter of seconds of meeting her. And before we get into the traits, make sure to subscribe to this channel, because I have a lot of awesome new videos coming out. And also hit that bell icon down at the bottom so that you get notified every time I come out with a new video. So what makes Clooney one of the most attractive men on the planet? Number one is that his body language gives off a relaxed confidence. Body language is what women see, even at a distance, before you even speak to her. This is a major factor in creating a first impression. And first impressions are crucial. Take a look at how George Clooney moves. Notice how he has a relaxed swagger about him, like everything is going his way. He looks high status, and it's not just because of his clothes. Notice how he wasn't moving fast. He was moving with grace. He also usually has a smirk on his face, almost as if he's saying, I love my life and I bet you'd love to be a part of it. His calm, confident body language makes him stand out, and girls notice that. Most guys look down when they walk, but looking down is a subconscious submissive behavior. And it's also a sign of being depressed. Focus on keeping your head up and looking where you're going. Another very important part to attractive body language is to slow things down. Don't move quickly or in a jerky motion. Fidgeting shows that you're not grounded, while moving calmly has a way of showing status and confidence. These may be very subtle movements, but women will instinctively notice them. So from now on, Pay attention to how you move. I want you to walk like you own the place. Grab your balls and tell yourself that you are the man and then man up. Because remember, you're the prize. You're the guy who's gonna get the girl. Number two is his voice is damn sexy. Seeing someone for the first time, like you could be passing on the street and, and you look at each other and for a few seconds there's this kind of a, a recognition. Clooney possesses a great natural control of his bedroom voice, which is a deep, relaxing, yet strong and commanding tone that sets the mood and creates sexual tension right away when done right. He speaks with an at ease tone and with a low voice. And just in case you didn't know, women are attracted to lower voices. He also slows down his speech, which is similar to what I mentioned earlier about slowing down your body language. Slowing down your speech and using pauses creates sexual tension. It's very powerful and these two things help to set the mood. Just imagine if he was speaking like this. Hey, real quick, I just saw you here and I just thought you were really cute. I had to come over and at least say hi. Hi, I'm Matt. There's no sexual tension and it sounds like I'm unsure of myself. Now listen to the difference when I say it like this. Hi, this is really random, but I just saw you here and I just thought you were really cute. I had to at least say hi. Hi. Also note how pausing to collect your thoughts is important as to not sound awkward or stutter. So remember to be conscious of how you speak. Number three, his eye contact is irresistible to women. Just by the way he looks at a woman can trigger sexual desire and turn her on. Take a look at what I mean. It may only happen a few times in your life. Notice how he's looking at her like he wants her and he knows that she wants him. It's not just any regular eye contact, it's sexual eye contact. It's a look that's full of power and confidence that could put you into a trance, like he's tracing your thoughts and piercing into your soul. So anyways, don't be afraid to look deep into her eyes. It shows you're engaged and interested and it creates sexual tension. But you can't just stare at her bug-eyed. Instead, I want you to look at her like you know that you're gonna give her the utmost sexual satisfaction if she's so lucky. And here's a pro tip for you. 
when you're looking at her, look into her left eye only. Don't switch between her eyes. Just look into one eye and she'll feel like she's really connected to you. Just practice in front of the mirror so you hone this skill. Now, I wanna give you a little bonus. What he says in this clip will make women wanna sleep with you fast. Seeing someone for the first time, like you could be passing on the street and, and you look at each other and for a few seconds there's this kind of a, a recognition. Like you both know something, the next moment the person is gone and, and it's too late to do anything about it. And you always remember it because it was there and you let it go and you think to yourself, what if I had stopped? What if I had said something? What if? Note how he asks the questions, what if, and talks about not missing life's opportunities, specifically the opportunity of running into someone you love. He tells a girl to live life without regret and that she should be taking risks. What if I had stopped? What if I had said something? He's essentially telling her to live in the moment and not let opportunities pass her by. In other words, the opportunity to be with him. I usually say something pretty similar before I start escalating on a girl sexually. You see, all women have the instinctive nature to be sexual. Their bodies are even wired to give them intense and continuous pleasure. However, society and culture have done their part in suppressing these raw emotions, making women believe that they should conform to what people tell them to. This leads to what we call the anti-slut defense, which prevents her from sleeping with a guy even if she really wants to. Talking about her feeling free and pursuing opportunities will show her that you're not gonna judge her for her actions. Women often hold back their sexual desires because they don't wanna be labeled a slut. They don't wanna be judged and they don't wanna be shunned by society. Bringing up sexual topics in a calm and reassuring way builds trust. And the more she trusts you, the more likely she will go home with you. So, there's a lot more to George Clooney than just his fame and his looks. He's an attractive man by pretty much all standards. Now, we can't all be George Clooney, but knowing how he does it can boost your own charisma around the ladies. Now, if you wanna be better with talking to women and know how to talk to women the right way to spark sexual attraction, I created a free conversation cheat sheet. You get my top conversation starters for any situation. Simple techniques to never run out of things to say. Simple Simple ways to escalate the interaction and more. Download it right now because you'll want to keep it handy before you go out. So just click the image in the bottom right of this video right now to download your conversation cheat sheet. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want us to personally mentor you, then make sure to check out our bootcamp schedule. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man and I'll see you in the next video.